Good morning, everyone. It's Keith and Kay. Well, um, today's Monday. Halloween, guy. So, I don't believe you. <laughs> well, I know. I don't either, but, you know, the kids are all going to school like that. And I'm taking her to work right now. We're stopping at Mickey D's McDonald's to get her breakfast. And, uh, yeah. And then we'll, I'll take her to work. I hope I, um, get there a little bit early, which we might, because, uh, I want to share something with you guys about the credit card. And, uh, be careful about that. But anyway, uh, we'll tell you the story once we get there. And also, when I get home, because I know I ain't gonna have time to talk about it, I'm gonna go and uh, go on my computer and do another little blog explain to you about the benefits of veterans. That should be interesting if you're a veteran. So anyway, uh, I'll see you when I get to her job. Mm. Okay, I'm at Kay's job now. She just got a little breakfast and ate and everything. But we want to talk a little topic before I leave. And that is, beware of gift cards. And Kay, you want to explain to them what happened to the gift card? Okay. That you given to you here on your job? So, um, one of our next practitioners, nurse practitioner student here, um, they, he gave us, um, a fifty dollars gift card. Now you say us who? My manager, the doctor. Oh. Like he gave us um. He didn't give me. He don't. But you're talking like he gave us me and you. He no, fifty dollars gift card itch, and I haven't used it yet. And then me and my husband um decided to use it in Panda, and then Panda Express. Yeah. Chinese food. I check it. It's I still got fifty dollars, and then when we went to Panda Express, we only have one dollar left. I said, "What the?" Yeah. And she just checked it the day before, and fifty dollars is yeah. in the card. And then I said, "What's somebody what supposed the to be for heck? written fifty dollars on the card?" But then she said, "We went to Panda." We went to Panda. We only have one dollar um, left, so we I got kind of pissed off. Yeah, and then. We, call, we decided to call the customer service and then when I check my balance it says there's a transfer of $49 in PayPal mm -hmm. and CVS for $50 and we ain't our nothing no PayPal we ain't our nothing she I just got the card brand new in the wrapper and we just opened it up she, and she called and checked with $50 on it we saved it for the next day like she said went to Panda mm. bought, got a whole lot of food it's in our video I haven't and, used I haven't used it yet. Mm -hmm. And then so, I got real pissed off. And I don't know what's going on now. We called the company. What's the name of the company on the card? Vanilla gift card. Vanilla gift card. And uh, they said they we had filed a, uh, a, a, what, case. a case with them. And they sent us the paperwork to fill out. She mailed it back in. They got I, the, so First we called. And then yesterday I called them in. I just yeah. checked. They haven't filed a case yet. So I told them, I called yesterday and I said, like, can you guys file the case now? So a guy helped me and then I filled out some paper. They emailed it to me and then I emailed it back to them. And what, what I don't understand is it was a brand new gift card. They didn't have any numbers on the card. We had to, uh, did you register the card or anything like that? Or did you start using it? Start using, started using the card, and uh, and and then someone used it already. PayPal. PayPal used it. And a transfer of forty nine dollars in yeah. PayPal, and it says fifty dollars so in CPS. If you guys didn't experience anything like that, drop drop a, a comment. And let me know. It's a fraud. What what's happening? If you ever experienced that, because I never experienced that like that. Buy a new card and and it's being used somewhere. I don't know if the manufacturer of the card did something. I don't know what. The guy that bought the card, or whoever the, the nurse practitioner that gave them to him, I don't know. So anyway, I, I, that's kind of puzzling me. We filed a we filed a uh, complaint. a complaint, and uh, we'll see if we get our money reimbursed back to us. And uh, you know, and but that's strange, huh? Never happened before to us. Never. So that's what I want to uh, uh, share with you guys. If you guys ever experienced anything like that before, drop a dime or a comment and let us know what's 
what you what did you do or who could it possibly be i know it's a fraud definitely it's a fraud fraudulent act mm -hmm. but uh wow i don't know who who, who could have done it so anyway, they're gonna they're gonna do an investigation. Hopefully, they'll find out who actually did it. I, I don't know if they can get a name who did it. No. They can get where we did. They can get it where we done at. You know. So anyway, folks, just want to share that with you. I also want to talk about uh, VA benefits. Some of the VA benefits, which I'll do when I get home, uh, which you from here. Because it's, it's it'll take a little while, so you got to get uh, got to go to work. But anyway, this is how the card looked, just like that. In case you run across some cards like that, look like that. So anyway, uh, people, I'll see you when I get home, and we'll continue this uh, this vlog. Uh, kid, going to go into work, and I can't. Uh, I didn't. I got my paperwork at home. I want to discuss with you. So, have a great day, everyone. I'll see you when I get home. Bye. Hello, everyone. I'm home now from taking Kay to work. And uh, she's got a long day. I pick up at 5 o'clock. But anyway, I explained to you about the gift card fraud uh, me and Kay did. And that really happened a couple this weekend. But anyway, another thing, I had a, I had a comment from a viewer wanting to know what are some of the veterans' military benefits that you get. And uh, there, there's, there's many, 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 many benefits. I may not know them all or say them all. If, if you guys are better and you know any other, any other benefit, comment below and let me know. But I have a list here. I have a list of all the benefits that are entitled to veterans. Now, what they do is they go by percentage rates. Uh, zero percent all the way up to 100 percent. You got zero percent, 10, 20. 30, 40, 50, 70, 80, and 100 percent. All on this I got from the Veterans Affairs. The higher the percentage you are, the more benefits you're entitled. You're entitled to. So now I'm I'm I it's, it's different ratings, like I just explained to you. I am a hundred percent ratings. So I'm entitled to all the benefits. And just to name a few, I'm gonna name a few of them. Uh, these are all for, uh, it's a service, it's called a service connected checklist right here. I'm 100% service connected. Now it says here, uh, some of the benefits you, you get are medical care for all medical conditions. And these are free. 100% free. You don't pay nothing, no copay or any of that type of thing. And so, you get a military ID card, must be scheduled 100%, which mine is. Uh, you get dental treatment, free. All dental treatment is free for you. You get Champ VA cards for your dependents, your wife and dependents. Champ VA card means that they can go to any medical doctor and get uh, and get medical treatment, except dental medical treatment. And you can get dental too, but it's going to cost you uh, your, your your spouse uh, a little bit for that. But uh, the the veteran, actual veteran, gets doesn't pay a thing for any type of medical uh, dental treatment that they give you. Aid and attendance allowance. That means if you are if you are injured to the point where you can't take a bath, take a shower, fix your food, or or or, or anything like that, you, you practically on your back all day. Uh, you get aid and attendance. They'll pay someone, uh, even your spouse, if you chose to uh, add her allowance for that for taking care of you. They'll, they'll pay the better uh, the uh, VA will pay them. Service disability veterans life insurance. You get that free. Service disability veterans life insurance. Get that and also 
you get a waiver of CalBet home disability insurance. You get that also as well. Uh, withdrawal from SBP after five to 10 years. I don't know what that means. Property tax exemption. You get exempted from paying property tax. I have that also. And you get a vocational rehabilitation. You get to go to re get re rehabilitation, vocational rehabilitation for you. I've had that before. Dependence educational assistance for your dependents. They can go to school. Get assistance for that. A California college fee waiver for dependents. If you have dependents or in college, they don't pay any fee to go there. Uh, California states, uh, state parks permit, you get a permit, a permit to go to eight, uh, all state parks that charge you. Veteran gets it free. Uh, California, the uh, golden access pass for federal parks. You get a golden access pass, you can go to any federal parks for free that charge to get in. Not the veteran, free. And you also get a uh, basic sport fishing license, reduced fee. It says reduced fee, here's how I get your fee. If you present your veteran's uh, card to them, you get a reduced fee. If you fish a lot or go fishing, you get that uh, fee reduced. Civil service preference for employment, 10 points you get for that. Children eligibility to complete, to compete for military academics. Oh, get that. Auto and visual care. Auto and visual care for your ear or your glasses. All free for the veteran. Exempt from VA home loan funding fees. You pay no home loan funding fees for VA. What's not on here that I found out Maybe this is some time ago, but I found out that uh, I qualify for it. Is I don't pay no uh, no uh, DMV car registration fee. Nada, nothing. If you're a hundred percent only, you gotta get a, let a letter from your doctor saying that you're a hundred percent in the nature of your. Uh, of your hundred percent. I paid. I was shocked when I saw. It. I said, "Wow, I get that, I said, man." Let me do, do, take care of this right away. So I went down to DMV. I filled all the forms out. I had, I had to go to my uh, first. You go to your veterans uh, uh, veterans office and apply for that. And you got to show proof of that you are hundred percent by having a uh, note from your doctor stating that and what the nature of your injury is and all that. And you don't have to pay no DMV registration fee. None of that. So that's not on here, but that's what I found out that uh, you get. Now, if anything else on here that you know we get, drop down below and let me have, let me have a, comment me below, please, and let me know because I'm getting everything I'm entitled to through the VA. I fought in this war. I want everything that I'm entitled to. Now, that's if you're 100%. They got zero ratings. If you're down to zero or nothing, just when you don't have no ratings at all, you get medical care for service-connected conditions. Yeah, of course. Service disability veterans life insurance, you get that. College fee waiver for, de for you or the dependents. And civil service preference for employment, 10 points. That's, that's the lowest. You got 10% uh, 10 rating, you don't get as much. You get the medical care for all medical conditions, same thing, all the way down, da 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 da, same thing. But it's not as much as being a high rating. Now, if you're 70, 80, or 90% rating, you get a little bit more than the lower ratings, but not as much as 100%. And, uh, and that's... Uh, that's where I'm at now. And, you know, if you're uh, overseas, because I checked on this, 
because uh, I was thinking about maybe going to, to uh, food in the Philippines. They don't have a hospital, but they do have a VA clinic. You can get your uh, medication there, uh, all your medications, because you're in the system. You'd be in the system. And uh, you can get, uh, I don't know about VA home loans. I don't think so you can get that. But you can definitely get your medication there. And uh, that's all I think as far as I know. If you guys know anything else, drop me a line and let me know so I can go grab my benefits. But that's that's just what you can get. So it's a good thing. Now I remember years ago when I uh, ETS out of, out of the Army, uh, the VA hospital was a lot different then. And they uh, they had what they call all military uh, personnel working in there. Or if you're a veteran and been in, in if you've been in, in the military and was in any type of medical unit or something like that, or was a doctor or any type of a nurse in the, in, in the military, they worked at the VA. And what kept me from going there years ago was that I was told that if you go there, that they're not, that, that, that the medical staff is not that sufficient enough. You know, you go in there with a leg problem, they cut your leg off and all this type of thing. So I was kind of reluctant going to the, to the VA back then. A lot of change now, a lot of change now. And what started me to go there is my brother-in-law, he was injured and uh, he was 100%. He, they started a percentage rate there because he went in the military after I did. And, uh, he told me, he called me brother-in-law, brother-in-law, just go get your card, just go get your medical card, at least have that. So I said, okay, why not? What the heck, I'm a veteran, why not? So I went down there and uh, I got my, uh, I went down to talk to one of the, uh, the, per the personnel down there and I explained to him, because he asked me, well, how, what took you so long to come down here, man? You've been out of the military for years. I said, yeah, and I told him the whole story. He said, but it's not like that now. It hadn't got, it's, it's gotten a lot better than it, it previously was. A whole lot of changes have been made and all that. Everything used to be free for a veteran, but now they got this percentage rating and all that stuff, you know, so. So anyway, I explained the story to him. And I said, I want to apply for my car. So he went on and filled everything down. He said, but we got doctors here. He said, we got, uh, excuse me. Uh, <coughs> wow, whoa. He said, we got uh, civilian doctors, went to college here, big universities that graduated, and, and, and doctors have been doctors for years, civilian doctors. He said, we got them here. Wow! <laughs> oh, excuse me again. Woo! I got my nose. I get hay fever on this time of the year. And, um, and so they got that there. So I said, okay, I got my car and all that. But I was still kind of reluctant going there. I didn't really go in there because I had, I had, I had employment where I had medical, I had medical, medical insurance. So I, need, I didn't need to go there. And uh, so finally, I uh, what made me go there is that they were taking out $500 a month from my medical insurance here. And, my, and, I, I, and I very seldom went to the doctor. So my bank account was going down, 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 $500, took it $500, whether I went to the doctor or not, they take the insurance, took $500 out of the month. So I thought, I said, wait a minute, I can't get in. I gotta go to the VA. So I went to the VA, back, and signed up and everything, and, and got a primary doctor there and all that stuff, you know. And the reason I got my 100% is because I joined a group called uh, Muslim American Veterans Association. It's a uh, it's a veterans association, you know, like uh, all these other associations they got for veterans. I can't think of their names now. And I explained things to the, to the whoever's in charge there, and he told me, "Man, you got to apply for your benefits." It's because I had heart problem in the military, and it's all documented in hospitals there. If you got anything documented in the hospital, you in. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll do that. So I went and done it. <coughs> Woo, I get happy around this time of the year, man. Ugh. And so I done it. 
and uh, applied. And I see, and they got all my doc, my medical records here in the military. They got my medical records here at, at the home, and uh, they I, I got a hundred percent. Uh. Anyway, it's a long story about my ventures in the military. Maybe I'll make a another uh, blog about that, what I went through, and uh, it's pretty. Uh, Pretty hectic, pretty sad, a lot of racism, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> but anyway, that's how I got my 100%. <laughs> so now I'm covered. Medication, I don't have to pay no more. I used to pay so much before I, I start uh, going to the VA. I used to pay a lot of money for my medical my medication. I used to have to take, and uh, and uh, yeah, now I don't pay nothing. Everything is free to me. Now, I might have left something up. Veterans out there, help me out, my veteran brothers. If you know something that I forgot and that I should apply for, let me know. Now, I got a VA home loan. I paid no no down payment or none of that stuff on the VA home loan, which is good. And uh, I don't pay any uh, property taxes, anything like that. Only on one home, though. I don't pay any uh, DMV registration, none of that. All my medic and medic uh, care is free. My dental is free. All that stuff is free for me because I'm 100. percent And you gotta be 100 percent to get all those entitled to all those things. And uh, if I'm missing out on something, my VA brothers, explain to me. Let me know in the comment because I might be missing stuff. I don't know everything. I just know the things I got in front of me that the VA gave me. And what I learned from my brothers from Mala, Muslim veterans, uh, American Muslim veterans, Muslim, Muslim American Veterans Association. That's what I belong to. And they helped me out a lot, tremendously. A lot, believe me. So anyway, uh, just want to share that with you. Thank you for uh, listening. Please leave a comment below if there's something I missed out or something I shouldn't know. Because I don't know it all. Believe me. When I got out of the military, I got rid of all my uniforms. I got rid of everything. I was done with that. And then I got out later in the year. I started finding out all the good things that veterans are entitled to. So I got back off in. Not not in the veterans, but I got, I mean, I, not in the military, but the BA. So... <laughs> Anyway, I just want to share you guys have a great day, a great day, and God bless you all.